Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. If you remember where we left off last time that we played, um, I'm continuing on with the Epi quest line. He is sending us off to find these different things at various temples and the like, and to see what's going on with them. Um, because he's deciphering messages, right? And we're trying to figure out what these messages eventually are going to pan out to say. Right now, I'm trying to figure out where they want me to go next. I just saw it. Shit, I lost it. I just saw it. And then I lost it. There it is. Oh, okay. So we're just going... We're out of this cave and we're going straight. Can't see shit. We gotta get out of here and go straight. So we're gonna continue on with this quest line. This epi quest line for now. But FYI, from what I'm to understand, at this point, if I really wanted to, I could just finish the story of the game if I really, really wanted to. Um, but I'm not necessarily in a huge rush, although I would like to finish the game soon. So maybe what I'll do is just see what the rest of this epi quest line is. And then after that, go right to the main story. I think what I gotta do next is assassinate two more targets. And then that unlocks the next thing for the Spartan army. Whatever it may be. And then I've, apparently there's only like a little bit left in the story. So so we'll see how it goes. But we gotta do some walking. For those who have not been watching recently, this is a the full Spartan armor set. I actually obtained all pieces of it. And this gives a giant boost to the damage of warrior damage. So if I do melee combat, I should do significantly more damage than I would have previously. Um, plus the armor looks pretty cool too. But I'm hoping that maybe eventually I can kill all the legendary animals and get another set. And then you get like the Athenian warrior set or something like that. Um, how many cultists did I kill? Asks Quirr. I've killed enough to, j to just level up my spear to level 5. So however many that is, I think there's still like 20 something left. Or I don't know, something crazy like that. I think I need, like, like 18 more shards or something to max the spear. I'm probably not going to be doing that. I'm just saying. I doubt I'm going to kill every single cultist in the game. Especially when some of them are fucking super annoying, like the ones at sea. And I know there's at least one more at sea. Alright. So I wonder if this questline I'm doing for Epi actually pans out to be anything interesting, considering that we're translating uh, ancient messages. And I'm curious if by translating them all, if it'll lead to anything good, you know? Will it lead to gear? Will it lead to a cool epic fight? You know, what will it be? I have no idea. It seems like one of the bigger quest lines in the game. And when I've done other bigger quest lines in the game, I got trophies for rewards. So I guess we're going to see what happens here. There we go. I had the wrong thing selected. So if you didn't see the last session that I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I just respect Cassandra. I got the level 5 spear and I wanted to max out all the abilities. So I respect her to do the better abilities at level 5. And oh my god, they're insane. Some of these abilities now... Break through shields immediately. Do like 20, 30, 40% damage to enemies. They're pretty insane. I can pretty much kill any enemy with the two headshots. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. No, I'm not playing Fallout 76. You out of your mind? Every single person who's played it hates the game at this point. And you're going to tell me to play Fallout 76. So I'm entering a town with Spartans impaled. And I'm dressed as a Spartan. I'm pretty ballsy, huh? You gotta have guts to enter this down dressed like I am. Spartans impaled at the gate. Well, let me mosey on in here. Looking like a Spartan. Sounds good. No problem. Yes, you can respec in this game. That is correct. Someone's beaten me to it. I'll have to take a closer look. Someone wrecked the temple. Oh, shit. Okay. Is nothing there, oh. sacred. Ancient and valuable relics were housed in this temple. Now the scum has taken it all and burned it down. What a bunch of dicks. They burned it to cover their tracks. The scum ran off towards town with an armload of our most sacred items. Likely in the beggar's quarter from the look of him. Hmm. Okay, we gotta go to the beggar's quarter. Third out of the third cheer, he wants me to quit this game and play some game called Mutant Year Zero. No, I'm not gonna do that. And Baby Man Gaming is asking. Oh, hold on. Before the fire. Aha, a clue. Baby Man Gaming is asking Do I have any inter interactions with Socrates or other famous, uh, like, philosophers? Because this is supposed to be in an ancient Greece. Yes, in fact, there were many direct missions involving Socrates in them. Battered scarf. I'm looking for someone with torn clothes. Find and kill the culprit. Oh, 
over here. Let's get them! <clears throat> of course I remember so crates. A good RPG says, do I remember so crates from Bill and Ted? Who wouldn't? Come on, man. So crates was badass. Baby Man Gaming, I have no idea. He asks, is there sex in this game? I don't know, because I did none of the stupid romantic options in the game. They made no sense. Oh, all of a sudden, I'm randomly attracted to someone with no build-up and no plot development. Uh, no, I'm not, I don't roll that way. Hello. His clothes are torn, and they match the color. Yeah. Yeah. Let me assassinate him. Yeah. Oh my god, where's body? Oh, holy shit. Well, there you go. <laughs> the body went fucking flying, dude. I'm almost level 38 at this point. So I got the steely piece. What's the next, uh... What's the next story? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go hit this viewpoint, and then I'm gonna see if I can find the next leg of the, ep the epi story. Because I never opened this viewpoint, at least I'll be able to fast travel here. Temple of Apollo. Where is it? Right here? Yep. No third eye the third. If you're doing it, 34 bucks will be right now. I'm not buying that game. I never heard of it and I have no interest in it. <laughs> Trust me. There's much more important and, and, and uh, better things I can put the money towards than a game I'm never going to play. So, where's the epi quest line? We gotta find it. <clears throat> There's the, that's the uh, Minotaur mission. Can't do that yet, right? Can't do this yet. This is killing all the, uh, whatchamacallums. The, uh, oh my god, the cult. <sighs> I'm an idiot. These are the two guys I need to assassinate, the targets. And then they just talk to Marini and them. Okay. And then the artifacts they want me to find. I found one of four. I think the next one I get by killing the, uh... I, by killing the, uh, Minotaur. And upgrade the spear, which I can't do. I gotta find 20... Fucking 22 or 21 more things. Alright, so anyway. Where is Epi's quest line? Here it is. Where is it? There it is. And I can't fast travel, you son of a bitch. I can't. Oh wow, one of the guys I need to assassinate is right next to it too. So I'll fast travel here, yeah. I'll fast travel here, I'll probably kill the guy first, and then I'll do the epi quest. All right, baby, uh, baby man gaming. There's no way I'm reading what you said, but thank you for the cheer. And Kmart manager Chi said, "With the massive amount of streamers, do you feel that only playing AAA games holds you back from new viewers?" Yes and no. Yes, because there are people who are always looking for the hot new game, the fresh new game, and it's not always a AAA game. Sometimes it's an indie game or a release like that. Sadly, I just can't afford to buy every new game. I can't. You know, some streamers literally will play every single new game for a day or two and then drop it. I can't afford to do that. I can't. Um, and number two, I probably wouldn't enjoy doing that. I'm the kind of guy that if I'm playing a game that I like, I want to keep playing it. I don't want to have to put it on the back burner for the sake of because another fucking new game's coming out today and we all have to try out every new game possible. Um, but yeah, you know, I understand what you're saying. There are some streamers who will play these other games that I never touch, right? There's a ton of games this year that I never played that other people did. And you might say, you know, Phil missed out on it that day or whatever, right? So there you go. Alright, so Liquid Hindo came back. The first thing he says is a fucking negative meme. And now he's banned permanently again. Because he was the person who I unbanned earlier. And he's a fucking idiot. And he's not coming back now. What a complete asshole. The first fucking thing he says is, is a dumb meme. Which is the reason why he was banned to begin with. And he just wrote me two heartfelt emails apologizing. The first thing he does back is says it again. And now he's permanently banned. What a great guy. 
What a great guy. Oh my god, what a fucking buffoon. Look with him though, you want to come back? Make a new account, because I'm not unbanning you again this time. Stupid. <laughs> if you don't understand the meme, that's a good thing. Let's put it that way, that's a good thing. Because it has nothing to do with me, it was a, it was a meme from a detracting against someone else, another streamer. Thebians. Cowards that surrendered to Xerxes. Oh, really? She hates them because they surrendered to Xerxes, huh? Alright, so what I want to do is I want to kill this guy first who's on the coast. Then when I'm done, I'll do the Epi mission that's right next to it. But let's kill the guy on the coast first. Exactly, it was some stupid negative Wings of Redemption meme or something. And it has nothing to do with me. And he was coming in here, spamming it, spamming stuff like that previously. He got banned for it. And then he fucking... writes two nice, heartfelt-style emails apologizing for his behavior. Saying he learned he won't do the stupid thing again. First thing he says when he comes back is something stupid. So, good riddance. I told you, it's the holiday season. I'm, I'm softening up a little bit. I'm being a little bit nicer. And I pay for it every time. I, it never fails. Ha ha ha. It never fucking fails. I pay for it. There he is. There he is. No one has any idea what just happened. He got the cover though. Ha! Oh, he got the cover. Oh, Creamy Spaghetti did 100 bit trivia. Says we need that old school Savage DSP back. Done, watch this. Good night. Oh fucking executed, bro. Done and done. I told you I'm too good now. All my damage is insane. I did a stealth attack that did almost his entire energy bar. I'm too overpowered now that I got all the best abilities. If these guys can't even fuck with me. That was supposed to be an elite level target. You get completely demolished. <laughs> Circum Spices Savage DSP was cringy looking back. The the new DSP is much better. I think I I agree. Like I agree. Like I used to be over the top for the sake of being over the top. Shock value for the sake of shock value. Saying sexual stuff and dumb, stupid, immature jokes and stuff. I don't like that stuff anymore. Like I've I in the past ten years I have definitely grown as a person and I realized that I could just kind of be myself and relax and have fun. Rather than having to be some fucking over-the-top dickhead. So. Explore the coastline to discover the underwater temple. Huh? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Where the fuck is it? An underwater temple. The bird can't see it. I guess I just gotta swim. Ben Boxer says, ever going to buzz going back to buzz cut well shorn DSP? Probably not. As I've said many times, I don't oh shit, this is the wrong way. Oh, right here. I don't like that. Like the buzz cut, the reason I did it was for convenience when it came to not having to brush my hair in the morning. But I knew I looked like shit. Like I knew that. I knew that I looked terrible when I dressed and looked like that. I just didn't give a fuck. You know, now I actually want to look good for cat, so. I do things to make myself look good. I, you know. 
do nice hair and I dress nice when we go out and stuff, you know. Stuff that people who aren't bums usually do. Hold on, let me get some air. They're not allowing the bird to see it, are they? Or are they? Right there? There it is. The sunken temple of Aphrodite. So that's where I'm headed. Straight ahead. Will I have the same haircut and goatee for the rest of my life? Possibly. Possibly. I might. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Unless I totally get bored of it and want to mix it up, but for now I like it. There we go. What else am I looking for? Apparently there's more. Because it's telling me it's acting like you didn't search yet, right? See that? Like they're basically acting like I'm not done with the search. Aha. Aha! I got a steely piece. Okay. I hit level 38. Wow, nice. Look at all this crap. Alright, keep the faith. A new quest. Deliver the steely pieces to Epi. Alright. Fair enough. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Did it not select the quest? I did select it. Yet I don't see it on my map. Right? Hold on. Okay, there it is. I had to zoom out or to zoom in to fucking let it show the icon because I couldn't find it. This should seriously make, seriously make your active quest blink like brightly so you could see it. Where the fuck did it go? Oh my god, it's covered by the cave. Of course I can't fucking see it. Covered by the cave icon. Alright, let's fast travel. If I can get this fucking stupid picture out of here, there we go. Okay. Like, seriously, okay, I select this as my active quest. The icon shows up. Why not make it blink or have an arrow or something so you know? Not I look at a giant fucking map, I can't see it. There's a million icons. You have to zoom out and then back in to fucking see the where you're trying to go. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. Okay. Okay. Loading. When icons block icon, I can fucking cave icon blocking my story icon. <laughs> All right, there we go, Epi. So again, I got a two two more steely pieces, right? So I got a ton more steely pieces to give them. I wonder if this will be the end of the quest line now. And by the way, I leveled up. I don't even know what to put the ability point in. I have no idea at this point because I've maxed out the things I wanted to max. You know, I guess I'll make overpower attack better, even though I don't need to. Yeah, everything else I wanted to do is, is already insanely good. <laughs> I don't need anything else to win the game. <laughs> I've gotten the best shit. Alright. Alright, Epi. What will he figure out from these steely pieces? That's different, Baby Man Gaming. He says, I, under I agree with you. If you're going to ban people for saying negative memes with malicious intentions, but what if someone doesn't know the meme and they repeat it, and then they get in trouble for it? That's different. Then if they come to me and say that, right, then obviously I'll, I'll say, okay, I understand the situation, just don't do it again and forgive them. Complete opposite situation of what just happened with this Liquid Hindo guy, who literally got in trouble for saying negative memes, apologized, said he wouldn't do it again, and then immediately did it upon his return. So, there you go. But yeah, I'm, listen, I'm not an asshole. Just because you didn't, maybe you didn't understand what was going on. If you write me an email or whatever and tell me what's happened, I always look into it and I'll, I'll you know, be nice or whatever. Give you the benefit of the doubt at least once. What the shit? Okay then.
All right. Hopefully this is a good quest line. Hopefully there's a good reward. If there's not, well, then it's a bunch of shit. All right, Epi. Wait, what's this? There's still fucking gold in here. I didn't lose somehow. Okay. I think it regenerates. I found the final steely pieces. All of the armor has been found as well. I can hardly contain myself. This will be life-changing, hero. Primordial gods, worth, inner vision. Why she put her? She put a torch out. What mean? <laughs> we'll know soon enough when you finish translating. Yes, you're right. The steely needs to be assembled. The Come. steely. He loves the steely. Assemble that steely. This is the cusp of a great discovery. Will the gods speak to us? What will I say to them? Be sure what to drink the Ovaltine. What kind of a message is this? Perhaps when you read it. Yes, yes. Hmm. Only those who possess inner vision, a gift of the primordial gods, will be deemed worthy to wield power of the great Deep Sea. Oh? Huh? Deep Sea? What do you make Whoa, of Whoa, look. I am amazed. I don't understand. There's no change that I see. It's the same place as when we first arrived. Look around you. I he doesn't see, see it. What do you see? There's dust in my eyes. The room has come to life. The gods are speaking to us. How can that be? Why can't I see any of this? Why should the gods not present themselves to me? I uh -huh. you, I have no idea. Is it because I'm not worthy? Do you have inner vision? It isn't fair. Epi, you it's have the fair. tomb. And there will be other discoveries. Enough. Just leave me. Can you please leave? Wow. So just because he can't see it, he's I don't fucking... understand. He's angry, yeah. I think that's a wall I can open or something, leading to a tomb. So I got restored my seeing... My seeing in... Neon, restored... I got the whole armor set, basically. On my seeing in armor set. See that? And they're saying that it's actually better than my legendary armor. But that's all I got for it. And of course, a quest reward, but... It wasn't very good. This sucks. So I can't interact with it. That fucking blows, man. Really? I can't interact with it? That sucks ass. Shout out to Jason AG 626 who just subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Jason, for the sub. I appreciate that. This really stinks, because I thought there was something good here, and they won't let me in. You can tell it's a door, but they won't fucking open it. They're being dicks about it. Alright, let's see this armor. It's not legendary armor, so I'm probably not going to put it on, but let's see what it is. Eh, it's... It's alright. It's not much better than what I got, you know. It's oh so slightly better. That's not what I have equipped. Where's what I have equipped? <laughs> Mine gives slightly more warrior damage. I guess if you haven't found a legendary warrior set like I have, this is a really good armor set. Like, if I didn't have this set, I probably would be putting it on right now. But quite frankly, it doesn't. Ju it just doesn't seem to be that great. You know what I mean? Compared to what I already have. This one is 12% damage bonus with spears. I'm not going to use a spear. Trying to get this to not tell me I have a hundred new weapons. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're done. That was kind of lame. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty lame. Oh, uh, all right. Well, we've only got one major thing left. The last fight of Aristios. He'll be found on an island at the center of Lake Kopais. He's training his troops in a military fort. Ah. It's a fort infiltration mission. That stinks. He's on a military island. Damn it. There's really nowhere good to fast travel either. There's not. I might as well just go on foot. Actually, you know what? I'll fast travel here. 
Yeah. I should get. I should unlock the fast travel on the island if I can. <laughs> What's up, Ratchet fan? Good to see you, man. Haven't seen you around in a long time. I seen you've been playing some Kingdom Hearts recently, and you know I've been hosting you. Hope you're doing all right. I haven't seen you in so long. Hope everything's good. Pigdom says I sh he thinks I should grow my hair into a long ponytail. Yes. A nice, long, greasy ponytail. Nice. It has to be extra greasy. <laughs> no, I'll be like Chris Jericho. I'll have the ponytail that goes up on the top of my head like this. There's like a big tuft of hair for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Strum. The man bun. No, people want yeah, man bun. That's what you want, huh? You want a man bun? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Now we're getting excited. Hot man bun action. No, what I want. I want a mustache that grows, but it connects a beard to to the side of my face, so it's all one continuous string of hair, but everything else is shaven. So I don't have a goatee, I'll just have a mustache that grows to, like, my sideburns. <laughs> That's what I want. Did Kat finish everything in, a in Assassin's Creed? Basically, she finished the story. She killed two of the mythical creatures, but the grind to get to the final one apparently is insanely long, and she, every once in a while she told me she'll jump on there for like an hour and play it, but she says it's so boring to grind up to level 50 to fight the last one that she hasn't done it yet. She's doing it very, very fucking slowly. So maybe eventually she'll do it. She says she does want to see the true ending of the game, but it's such an annoying fucking thing to do that it's not a priority for her. Ratty bag, I would never grow a full beard only because when I grow a full beard, it actually itches really badly and it bothers me. When I grow a beard out fully, it starts, I'm like, ah, you'll see us. I touch my face all the time. I'm like, ah, ah, I hate that. Aristeos found you. I don't think I'll be taking this fort over. I'm just saying. I think I'm just gonna fucking go kill the guy. This looks like way too much goddamn work to kill everyone in it. Military fort of Gla. The fort of Gla. Gla. Rowdy Bag says once it gets to a certain point, it stops itching you and you'll build up a resistance. Yeah, maybe I don't want to get to that point. I'm just saying. I need to stay hidden. I gotta stay away from the guy at the gate so he doesn't see me. Remember, I have the best stealth ability in the game right now. So as long as I stay a certain proximity away from people, they will never see me. So I should be fine to just sneak by everybody and get to this guy and kill him and get out. I was amazed at how good my stealth ability was the last mission I had to do something like this. People were walking right by me and not noticing me. Okay. ITG Jake says, well, does having your goatee bother you from time to time? Yeah, it honestly does. Not all the time, but every once in a while it'll bug me. That's why I shave it down. I don't leave it super long. I shave it down so it doesn't itch me. Oh, well, hello. An amazing stealth kill! Yeah! You're a fucking badass, bro. You stealth killed that motherfucker. Do you think there's enough soldiers inside this camp? Or do you think they should add a few more? What do you guys think? So, sadly, the guy I need to kill 
is on the other fucking side of where I am. Ugh, this is gonna be a major pain in my ass. Dead body. Oh, so there's the fucking guy. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. He's so fucking far away. They purposely meant this tough. They made this tough to be a pain in your fucking ass. So that you'd have to really, like, work to get it. This cave looks like it might lead inside the walls. That seems strange. He comes over, I'll assassinate him. Even bother, he walked away. Well, he just went inside this building. What? I'll tell your family. <laughs> I think I saw something. I tried to stealth attack, it didn't work. I tried twice. Oh, I killed the guy. And no one fucking saw me. Oh my god, seriously? Maybe I can get this guy. in the middle of the ability that you cannot die during and I died anyway. Uh, I was in the middle of a fucking ability where you cannot die and you died anyway. What the fuck? That's the purpose of that ability. So you can't die during it and you can try to get a kill quickly. And they fucking killed me. Okay. The screen was even the right color. It was the orange color which means you can't die and I died. Well, that's the game's fault, not me. I was fucking doing it what I needed to do. Complete bullshit. That's the whole point of the ability, so you can do melee combat against a bunch of people and not die. Yeah, it didn't work. Ugh, <sighs> stupid fucking game. All right, we'll try again. I don't want to be spotted here.
No, you won't. I heard the guy saying, I'll still catch you. I can't see. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes, he immediately ninja kicks me. Oh, my God. That's a guy I need to kill, isn't it? Yep. I didn't climb at all. I, I pressed dodge. She started climbing the wall. <laughs> Amazing get controls in this game. So stupid. They were gonna walk by, but nope. This cave looks like it might lead inside the walls. This is so annoying. Well, a bunch of people were contributing, but I can't really pay attention right now. Why are they growing yellow? I don't know what that means when they glow yellow. Now I'm on fire for no fucking reason! Nothing was on fire, but yet I'm on fire here. Absolutely nothing was on fire, my body lit on fire. <laughs> okay. Now he dodged magically. This is so fucking stupid. This is so dumb. Oh my god. What the hell? No baby man gaming. I never been to Disneyland. Well, let me take that back. When I was when I went to visit Orange County when I was much younger, in my early 20s, I went to Disneyland for like an hour with my friends. I wanted to do all kinds of shit, but my friends were just two guys and they didn't want to do anything. They were like, yeah, this sucks. I was like, yeah, okay, well, I guess we'll leave then. And then we did. They didn't want to do nothing. They were basically being like, like really boring people and didn't want to do shit. So. What the fuck? Look at this. He saw me here. How the fuck did he see me? I can't even move. I'm glitched. Look, I'm stuck. I couldn't even move. I'm stuck on the rock. My god, this is dumb. I can't move again. I'm stuck again. I've never been Swaggins. If it is him, send me five bucks. It says, if I went on Hell's Kitchen, would I have a chance of winning? No, I don't even have a basic knowledge of cooking. How the fuck could I win on Hell's Kitchen? What a silly question. That's an absolutely silly question. How the hell do you think I would ever win? <laughs> The few things I can cook are the most basic things on the planet that, like, a five-year-old can cook. And then there's my pot of Italian sauce that my mom told me how to make. That's it. That's all I can do. How the hell would I win on Hell's Kitchen? Anyway, Haseo, 
just cheered, said if you didn't kill the Wolf of Sparta toward the beginning of the game, he would have killed the fighter for you and saved the trouble of the fort. Really? He would have, huh? Alright. Well, Swaggins, thank you for the tip. If that was you for real, I think it was, but it's hard to tell. Because I can't really see what's going on in the chat because uh, we're in the middle of a crazy-ass mission going on here. What the... I did hit him twice, but he's still not fucking dead. Why are they glowing yellow? I don't understand what that means when they're glowing yellow like that. I was dodging, but okay. He's almost dead. I only need a couple more hits. He won't die. He's he, he has he has fucking poison right now. He's still not dying. Where is he? Oh my god. That's it. Take this shit. I got him. Oh my god. Get me the fuck out of here, dude. Get me the fuck out of here. What an annoying mission that was. <laughs> Holy shit. King Lewis just took me six dollars and says hi. Hello, King Lewis. Whoever you may be, I appreciate the tip. Thank you. And I will get you up on the leaderboard soon. Just allow me to get the fuck out of here. Kindly allow me to fucking escape from this predicament. <laughs> Popeus Perch. All right. All right, let me get King Lewis up there on the uh, leaderboard. Thank you very much. Wow, the I didn't type for some reason. There we go. Okay, then. Where am I going next? Return to Stentor. This is it. Return to Stentor. There he is. Fast travel here and then run over there. Yeah, here we go. So, Pinkdom asked... Just as... as Fair of a question is what Swaggins asked earlier about Hell's Kitchen. He says, do you think Cooking with the King will ever, ever end up on the food channel? Oh, of course. Right after I win Hell's Kitchen. Right after I win Hell's Kitchen, that's when I'm going to get that, cho that show. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. A good RPG, I'm pretty sure the Project 7... <laughs> he says, did you ever think about sending Project 7 to TV stations? It would be cool on Adult Swim. The the, the show is never ended. Uh, you, I'm pretty sure I trying to distribute the show now would make no sense knowing that there is no uh, end to the show, right? Uh, let's see, the Spicoli did 112-bit cheer. That makes him the top cheer of the night. And he says the following, what are your top three Assassin's Creed games? Um... Probably Asa either Assassin's Creed 2 or Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Because 2 I really liked, but Brotherhood I felt actually improved upon too. With some better parkour, and I liked the, the, the mechanic of being able to recruit your own clan. 
of assassins, your own guild. I really liked that about it. Um, then I would probably say Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. I really like the, 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 the ship battles and stuff in that game. And then I would probably say third place would be Syndicate, where you could switch between Eevee and what the hell is his name, Jacob, and the modernized mechanics of having, you know, modernized tools to do parkour, riding the train and stuff like that. I really like that. So there you go. In that order. No, you see? So Swaggins, I don't know if this is Swaggins, but I just got a $6.01 tip asking if Gordon Ramsay offered to buy my authentic Italian sauce, would I sell it? And if so, for how much? No. My sauce is invaluable. An invaluable family recipe not to be shared with anyone. <laughs> yeah, right. And actually, it was funny because people were joking about if I opened an Italian restaurant that I had joked about for years because I wanted to kind of do that eventually. If things had kept going the way they were going on YouTube for a while... And I was making the crazy money I was making repeatedly. I probably would have tried to like open a restaurant or something. And would it have, you know, would I have sold my family recipe sauce in that restaurant? Probably. Would I have been the cook? No. But would I have actually uh, done stuff like, like contributed recipes and stuff to the restaurant? Probably I would have. Uh, Vergota69 just did a $7 tip. Says, Phil, it's been a while. What new games will you be playing in December? Uh, a few. Hold on a second. Shit. I will be playing... The First of all, the, the biggest new release of December, which I think everyone will agree, is uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate. And I'll definitely be playing that. Especially because, supposedly, Nintendo is no longer claiming videos on YouTube. Well, I guess we'll find out firsthand, okay? Outside of that, I'm going to be starting up a new playthrough of some kind of an RPG. I'm not sure what, but I'm strongly leaning towards Final Fantasy IV, which I just bought the HD edition on PC, on Steam, and I kind of want to play that. And then outside of that, we'll see what happens, because I got to see how long it takes me to beat other stuff. I got to do my year-end series this year. I got multiple, three different Christmas events coming up. So we'll see how it goes, okay? And then Geekworm just did a 200-bit cheer to become tonight's cheerleader, so I already put him up on the leaderboard, and he says, At the Game of the Year Award ceremony, Obsidian were announced their new game. That's cool. I want to hear Obsidian's new game. Remember, Obsidian was bought out by Microsoft. And Obsidian are the same people who made, um, New Vegas. So I'm very interested to see what they've done. Fallout New Vegas. Swang says, everyone says that shit ends after Smash is out. Is that true? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Third Eye the Third says, made it through on your forms about Mutant Year Zero. Give the gameplay trailer a chance at least. All right. I'll have to look at it later. All right, let's talk to Stentor. I killed all these assholes for you, Stentor. You're back. The champions have been dealt with. You should be dead. You seem disappointed. The gods are punishing me. They're not punishing you. They're helping you. Why do you think I'm here? The gods must hate me if our paths keep crossing. <laughs> From what I've seen, you needed a divine intervention. I don't have time for this. Sparta must take this region now, while we have the chance. Okay. Let's get this over with. I guess we're gonna do some I combat. I agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the better. Okay. Well, Baby Me Gaming wants to be the top cheerer, and indeed he is with that 250 bit cheer he just did. So thank you, Baby Man Gaming. All right. So I see what you're saying. People are saying that the the Nintendo Creators Program is gonna end a week after Smash is out. That's great. That doesn't mean shit. Nintendo still needs to end their video clipping policy separate of that, so... Awesome, everyone's getting knocked on their ass. Oh, 
what the hell? Did you see that? Holy crap, that's awesome. Yeah! Who wants to fuck with me? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so badass. Now you're really fucked. Oh shit, what's going on? I will cut you like a pig. I've been watching you. You don't have the skill to beat me. Whoa, what the fuck? Oops, she walked in the way. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why this guy's attacking me to begin with. Isn't he a fucking Spartan? Why is he attacking me? I don't even understand what's going on. I don't know what I'm doing. Then we got a Spartan fucking traitor. There, I killed him. He was a mercenary. What the fuck? There was a mercenary after me. It didn't even make sense. God damn. Explosions are awesome. They're knocking everyone on their ass. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Goodbye. Oh. fucking nice that was pretty cool so I killed the fucking mercenary who was supposedly on my army turned and tried to kill my ass what the hell all right so whoa shout out to geek Roman did a 250 one bitch here and said nope he wanted to be first but then alberg 18 did a 520 pitch here and said hell no first place is mines so thank you helberg or alberg excuse me for that uh, and apologies I couldn't update the leaderboard during that epic fight <laughs> That went pretty well. As I said, um, my abilities are so good now. I was able to chain the, sh the shield removal over and over and over, and they couldn't do shit about it, and they got completely dominated. So that was pretty awesome. All right. 